so yes, here we have the box. Um, it seems to have taken a bit of a beating in transit. Hopefully it hasn't got anything damaged inside and it's just the outer damaged that um, it does say fragile. Um, yes, yeah, so I've never had one of these before. It says open me, so we will now open it and see what's inside. And perhaps on a future video, I might try some of the bits. Um, what we're gonna think about is, is it worth the cost? which is normally 14 99 a box. However, they are currently got an offer on to get it for, I think, 8 99 I also saw an offer on another website for 7 99 So you, you can normally save on your first box, basically. Um, so here, February box. Ah, so we've got a little leaflet that actually tells us everything on there. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got another leaflet. T promoting Tilda. Tilda Rice is very nice. I'm a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> Yep, so that's a bit about Tilda, so I see they're promoting some things here. Mother's Day, a bit about Mother's Day, you can get a subscription, Mother's Day. Oh, cool, there's a lot of leaflets, I guess it's a good way for them to promote stuff. This could be a clue to perhaps what is actually in the um, box, I'm not sure. Oh, they look interesting, Trek, Foam Fever, they're sweet. I hope there's some of those, in fact there's a packet that looks like it might be them. Maggie, oh yeah, that's a famous uh, seasoning brand. They also do like instant noodles. Right, let's see, oh, that's right on the top. So I think those leaflets might be a clue to what we've got. So what I'm hoping is to discover some new products as well as some familiar products through this box. Air fryer fajita. So it's um, a mix to make some fajita style food products. Well, I would definitely use that, give it a go because it's probably like a mix of different Spices, yep, I'm looking at the ingredients there. I would use that. I think that's the first product I've had that specifically says air fryer in the title. Um, I've noticed they're starting to put air fryer instructions on things now, but often they just say consult your air fryer <laughs> because I guess all air fryers are different. But then again, I'll say the same about ovens. Right, we've got a drink. Ah, oh, yeah, Spark Clean. So this is something we had the leaflet for. Sparkling, zero caffeine, just protein. Right, interesting. Um, I'm not into sparkly drinks. I just can't really drink them too much, but I can have the occasional one. It's actually a little bit hard for me to read that writing on the yellow background, that white writing. So I'm going to have to read that later, but I want to know whether it's got any artificial... Um, sugars you know artificial sweeteners because i'll try and steer clear of them but someone in the house will definitely make use of it we'll, we'll give it a go let's see what else we've got oh jelly belly <laughs> and it's a drink berry blue i mean the flavor sounds lovely again for me it would be the same thing whether it's got any artificial sweeteners but we'll try some of these in the video and see what else we got oh well looking for some different snacks so, I'm not familiar with that brand, Snorts, Snats, I think it's called. Um, so this looks like, um, it's now gone out of my mind what they're called. I know it begins with B, but they're sort of hard, small toasts. Um, basically, tomato and oregano flavour, but I think these are going to be up my street. So that's nice, I'm pleased with that. Yeah, so we're going to think about whether it's going to be worth the cost of the box. Chicken broth. Oh, okay. As a Heinz chicken broth, even if you don't actually eat that as a soup, you could probably pop that as part of a meal. That's not bad. These are very expensive now, it's hard to get one of these for like a pound. They can often be like 150 or more. The Heinz soup. Oh, gut happy snacking. Sweet chili nuts and seeds. This is up my street, boundless. I've heard of that company, not sure if I've had anything from them before. Mmm. I think I'll enjoy these. So, where's the ingredients? Oh, here we go. Hmm. Yeah, quite. Not quite natural, really. Not too many of that ingredients by the looks of it. Uh, oh, what's this little thing? Chip seasoning. That's interesting. It's just a small little packet like that. Hmm. Definitely try. See what they're like on the chips. Oh, there's another one. What have we got here? Avocado toppings, very interesting. This is what I was hoping for, some different things that I haven't tried before. Like these are sweeties, yeah. Trek, I thought it was gonna be a trek for a minute. 
sweet with benefits. Okay, that's interesting. Foam fevers. So they've got 15% less sugar, high in fiber, right good, natural flavorings and colors. So I'm sold. 45% fewer calories. Fab and fruity flavored foams. I can't wait to try these. More natural sweets are what I like. Another air fryer seasoning pack. Peri Peri. That would get used. Make some nice chips or something. Oh, we've got a Tilda rice here yeah, because we had a leaflet. Oh no, it's not rice. I just picked it up. <laughs> it's like, this is not rice. Because I saw a Tilda, I was assumed it is. I can feel it saying liquidy. So what is it? Chinese black bean. Oh, so it's... Um, it's black beans, red pepper and onions in a rich sauce. Okay, so if you're making Chinese black bean, this is the sauce. Okay, we'll definitely give that a go. I've never really used anything like that. Oh, wow. I mean, if you're a fan of this, it's like the squash, but I'm sure it's inside, okay. Um, this is a good inclusion. These are so expensive now. Okay, that's crazy. I mean, they have been for a while. They've always been expensive. Cereal, I've just realised, though, these are chocolate brownie flavour, which I've never had before. So these would be a nice treat. I don't treat... Um, cereals like this is something i would have for breakfast because um a pretty bit too much of a sugar rush for me in the morning and also you know i don't personally find it's not beneficial for me to just have a bowl of cereal it doesn't touch the sides i'll just be hungry these haven't got much to sustain and you know for me the basic i'm saying they're not the best thing for me to have as breakfast however i will have them as a snack or as a sweet treat because obviously these are quite sweet so yeah or as part of breakfast but not the main thing. But yeah, Crave. I, I do quite like Crave. And they're really expensive these days. So, hmm. That's quite a good inclusion. One more thing. Oh, I love my noodles. So these are chow mein flavour. Now, I prefer to sort of generally season my noodles myself and that. Make my own from scratch at home. Not, I don't mean I haven't actually literally made the noodles themselves yet. I mean, I could give that a go. But I mean like the flavourings and that. However, um, I mean, look, you can either just not use the seasoning and just use the noodles. Or you can, I will occasionally use the se seasonings if I get them. Like I'll have the very occasional instant noodle. Um, so yeah, Maggie. And you get four in there. So do we think it's worth the cost? Obviously I have to try things and if I like them I'm going to say it's even more worth the cost but just on an overview view of what we've got here let's put everything back and remembering that this I got it for $7.99 but the usual price is actually $14.99 but I reckon you can very often get it for like $8.99 or less you know like they will try to get you to buy the first box so I don't know exactly what Crave is. I haven't looked for a long time price-wise, but I reckon it's at least 250, especially since this is a chocolate brownie flavor. This Tilda thing is gonna be about a pound to two pounds, probably. So that's three pound. Sweets, I mean, these ones where they're meant to be more natural tend to cost a bit more. It's a small packet, at least a pound. Even if it's at least a pound, probably a bit more. I mean, somewhere like Honda Barrett, if they do that kind of thing, we'll say four pounds. These, one to two pounds, five pounds, already on five pounds, six pounds maybe. This is gonna be at least a pound. We've got two of these, so that's eight pounds. These, at least a pound, maybe 150, so let's say 950. These, at least a pound, that's 10. The drink, at least a pound, 11. These little seasonings, let's call 50p, 11.50. Soup, can't remember if I did that. It's just rough, but that would be a £12. This drink, at least a pound, £13. I've kind of lost count a bit now what I'm counting, but what I'm going to say is I think it would quite easily approach a saving if you're paying £7 or £8. However, if you're paying, I think the normal price is fourteen ninety nine. I'd be a bit like, mm, it's getting close to if you would buy those things individually. However, there's other things to take into account. You might discover some new products like I have here, so I'm very pleased about that. Um, it could be handy to have this delivered to you, you know, if you're not able to get to the shops or you prefer not to go to physical shops, that could be handy for you. And it's also the fun, isn't it? It's quite fun just having this random selection.